Jimmy Douglas continues to be seen in the winner's circle on a regular basis. Jimmy's got four good drives at Clubman Angle on Saturday night. Caught up with him to discuss their chances. Well, Jimmy, some nice drives there at Clubman Angle on Saturday night, in particular for Trevor Monday in the third event, Bellong Valley, runner up at three of his past four, but wide gate. It is a wide gate. It's actually the first time I've driven the horse, but he's been a good horse for a number of years and he's racing really good at the moment, so um, I would have without having talked to Trev, I would imagine that he'd be right in it, you know, given a bit of luck, yeah. Got a bit of toughness about him too. Yeah, he does. He seems pretty versatile from, from watching him and racing against him. Um, and, and he's ve- like you said, he's very consistent, so I'm sure he won't be too far away. Race 5, number 3, Glen Avril King once again for Trevor, coming off a 5th beat and 12 metre spirit of Anzac, but prior to that his form was nice. Yeah, I actually drove him once last start and he actually went really good, so he's uh, I think Trevor had a little bit of problems with the floods, so I think they've missed. That's why they haven't raced for a couple of weeks. So Trevor wouldn't have started him unless they're spot on. So I'm sure he will be close. And it's actually, I think, the best he's drawn. So he he actually might be mightn't be too far away either. Together by that, Jimmy, you're expecting him to be close to the lead. Yeah, he he, he actually sprinted really. He had no luck last start when he ran fifth, and he still sprinted really good off the track, and everything else got up the pegs. So. Um, he gave me a pretty good feel and, and you know, he probably he's probably the kind of horse that needs the right run, but if he gets the right run, I'm sure he'll be pretty close. Over to race seven, nicely drawn in gate two, Lurham Creek for Leon Jurd, but the top set, the good draw, is up against a very strong opposition. Yeah, top field again. Uh, he, he race, he's racing really good, actually, since coming back from Queensland, and he ran third a couple of starts ago. Um, I didn't drive him on that occasion, but he went really good, and then last week in the free-for-all, again, he wasn't too far from him, and luck. It, it, they're probably a little bit good for him at this stage in the free-for-all, but he, he certainly won't be far away in coming weeks, and he might be a horse to watch when he drops down in grade. Yeah, I think Leon will find a nice race for this fellow, and we should, as you mentioned, should be on him. For sure. Just, just yeah, like, like you said, probably in the free-for-all, they're a little bit good for him to be sort of a winning chance. He, he's still a chance of earning money, but um, w- w- when he drops down in that, that condition race or that second level, he's definitely, he's definitely one to maybe follow at good odds. A nice cosy peg run by Jimmy Douglas could help him fall into one of those exotic spots. Yeah, you never know. Like, like things can happen, and he's definitely racing good enough that, you know, if some of the better horses in the race don't go as good, or, or you know, things fall his way, he's definitely capable of taking advantage of that and earning, getting into the minor money somewhere. Over to race eight, the very talented mare trained by Peter Hanson, totaled even now hasn't won since March when driven by Jimmy Douglas. Yeah, and she actually beat Wanui Creek on that occasion, so Wanui Creek's proven that form, you know, being a top-class mare. So I actually think Total D was racing really, really good. It's been a few starts since I drove her, but even last week she's she's been coming from bad draws and having no luck, and she runs great sectionals every week. And um, again, she's drawn out wide, but, it's you know, she's definitely competitive with those horses, you know, given a, again, given a little bit of luck, but she's certainly good enough to win a race like that. When you consider, Jimmy, she finished third to Focus Stride, which is flying at the moment, fifth to Wyanui Creek in a stronger grade race. Yeah, that's right. And, like, uh, the last start I drove, she only got beaten oh, less than a length and only run fifth, but less than a length in a top-class mares race against some of the better mares. So she's definitely capable of d- winning a race like that. She's racing really, really good. She just needs a little bit to go her way. But, again, she, she can make her own luck a little bit more than some, but she does need luck from that wide gate this week. I was just going to ask you that, Jimmy. She doesn't mind doing it tough. Do you see yourself going forward with her, or do you just see how the opening stages play out? Yeah, we've sort of got to play it by ear a little bit. Like, she can do things, but but within reason. You know, I, I suppose that's the case with most horses, but she, she, she can sprint and she can do a little bit of work if needed. Probably can't burn through out, but not many can. So just from the wide gate, it does make it a little bit tricky, but hopefully things work out and, and she'll be pretty close. I gather, Jimmy, you're pretty keen on a couple of those drives. Yeah, like I like the two of Trevor's are obviously the, the, their abouts and, and just need things to go their way, and so does Total Diva. But um, yeah, like they're, they're definitely they all need things to go their way. But if they get it, they won't be far away. I don't think.